everybody so as you can see we have new more gnomoria no more gnomoria 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 it's all about gnomes gnomes pretty cool um i've i've read that this is like a uh a watered down version of dwarf fortress i've never played dwarf fortress so i can't comment on that but um i have watched a few um let's plays of this um, just to um, sort of like get the feel for it and I read the wiki so I think we're good to go maybe <laughs> <clears throat> but I'm super super stoked to have this game um, and I'm uh, I did play a little bit to uh, uh, get the hang of the controls and stuff um, and I think I'm ready. So um, it, 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 it's a pretty fun game. You know, there's, um, I think it's still in development. So um, things obviously will change as they go. Uh, let's have a look here. Oh, I'm also stoked because I just finished my last assignment for uni for the semester. So I've got like a month off now, which is awesome. Except that with family stuff, that's not really a month off. It's more like a month of less craziness, crazy, crazy, less crazy times, just moderately crazy times. Um, let's get with the kingdom name, the Savage pu Putrescence. Mm, no, Sheen the uh, no, the Kingly Berry. Mm, I quite like berries. I'm I'm pretty fond of berries. Hmm. Let's go with the kingly berry. Now I, in the things I've seen, it was like <clears throat> tiny and small is like the best to do. Obviously, you could do huge, but um, I can see why tiny and small would be good because your your the monsters that attack you are based on your kingdom value, and I'm guessing that if you have a huge area these monsters and supposedly the stuff laying outside of your walls in your kingdom are also part of your wealth so if you've got a bunch of mobs that have died sitting around outside with all their armor and stuff then that's going to add to your worth even though you don't actually own it in your bank or in your fortress or whatever and a small tiny map would be easier to manage I guess in that regards um, I don't know how tiny tiny is um, or how small small is, or how huge huge is even. Um, let's just go with small for now. Difficulty normal. You can go to hard and sudden death. I don't know what sudden death is. Probably like monsters straight off the bat or something like that. Which would be pretty evil, I can imagine. We're just going to go with normal. I, as this is like pretty much my second time playing, you could say first since the last one was just really just getting the hang of the controls, but we'll see how we go. We'll go with normal anyway. Let's have a look at advanced setup. Now here you can preview your map. Um, you can change like the flatness or hilliness or whatever's. The width of the hills, the smoothness, the bumpiness, the types of monsters. You could actually turn all of the monsters off, <coughs> which is if you wanted a nice relaxing game of just building up a uh, a city would be pretty good I think uh, metal depth normally change the depth and you could pretty much make this as hard or as easy as you want by the looks of it you could turn the attack rate up the attack sizes up the enemy strength up make the depth really low so that you have to go deep to get anything decent which means you're going to be running into more nasty critters down there because I think uh, after depth 9 you start getting badass monsters like spiders and beetles and all this sort of stuff and they get and everything gets harder the deeper you go they're not actually based off your wealth which the above ground attacks are they're based on your wealth whereas the spawn monsters in the darkness are more based off of depth so at the at the highest um the highest points you're going to get like um clay golems I think spawn at high levels and then as you get deeper and deeper past level minus nine 
you start getting um, spiders and um, uh, beetles and skeletons and zombies and you can, zombies can actually infect your gnomes which is, sounds pretty cool um, there's also different types of golems so they get harder and harder until you get to like super tough steel golems I think or whatever um, either way that's awesome so you can make this like insanely hard by making the depth lower of the good stuff so you have to get lower to get to it making it harder to reach know what I mean that's where I was going with that uh, we're gonna keep all this stuff on la -di -da -di -da. we'll see how long we can last increase enemy strength over time no we're just gonna leave that off because they increase the the strength increases with your wealth and that's good enough for us which means you can sort of manage your wealth keep it low keep the monsters low until you're in a good position to uh, fight um, we can preview, so if we left everything as stock standard here, we can preview what we would be getting. And that's pretty much what we'd be getting. Which actually doesn't look too bad. You need water, you need stone, we've got water and stone right off the bat here. Look at that, that's a pretty nice little area actually, it would be alright. Lots of this, that and the other. Not a berry in sight. <laughs> oh wait, no, there they are. <laughs> Which would be quite funny with the, um, since we're called the or something berry kingdom, the kingly berry. Um, no, I'm going to go for a different name, the in kingdom, no, the kilthorn, no, land of the dresses, uh, no, the surprise kingdom. Surprise! It's your birthday! Every day in the Surprise Kingdom. Uh, the Evil Kingdom, no. Trail Bar, no. Glutton Dumpling, no. <laughs> Actually, that was kind of cool. The Vile Crypt, no. The Clear Kingdom, no. Land of Whiskies, no. Busyness Adventure. I'm going to go with Busyness Adventure because I like adventure. I'm big on adventure and I'm going to say yes please to Busyness Adventure. And we're just going to leave the rest out. You can actually offset your team, that's pretty cool. So, if you generate your map or you have a seed, so they, they actually have a side, I think, for sharing seeds for this, sort of like with Minecraft, I guess. Um, people have, who have found awesome seeds where you've got, like, everything you need and it's a really good defensive position, probably, or something like that. But anyway, we're going to just go with what we got. If this is what we're actually going to get, that would be awesome because I really actually like this map and I want it. Because we can level that and build up this area, brick all that off. Sweet. Anyway, let's generate our world and get started. Now, you're pretty much safe-ish. I say safe-ish because in the game that I was just playing with things and seeing how it all worked, um, a, a honey badger killed one of my guys on the ninth day or something. So I'll say safe fish there's still mon there's still animals roaming around but you don't actually get any invading monsters until the first day of spring oh, the first day of summer you start in spring there's 12 days in each cycle um, and here we go so and this game's great it pauses just about it everything so you, you can speed it up and Regular speed is moderately fast and super speed. I don't know, I didn't play around with the speeds at all. Anyway, these are our gnomes, right? So, we can. Oh, other way, that's right, it's inverted. It's a wheelie mouse thing. So, we can. We can have a look around what we got here. Is it actually. It is! It is the map that we saw previously. Oh. Except that these were all. This was all tasty apple orchard things, and it's not anymore. The only apple orchards we got are right here now. Oh, you tricksy devil. But the layout is pretty much the same, and that's... That's good. Ah, I'm zooming out. There we go. So this is pretty good. I'm actually... Pretty... Going underground. Pretty happy with that, actually. 
So what I think, <coughs> and we got stone really close to the surface, which is good. We need stone and water. Water is very important. Um, how does this? If we go down, so that's actually pretty handy. So if we clear out to there, that'll actually be pretty good, I think. And we have some time, and they're. They're pretty hard workers, our gnomes. Let's have a look at them. So we can go to population, professions assigned. Here we go. So this has got who? This is who we have. We've got wrist. As these skills there, it shows you what wrist skills are. Can I? If I click on that, there we go. So. Um, He's idle, because we haven't done anything yet. Profession, builder, he's a builder, he's in good health, he's male, he's a gnome. Shock, I don't think you can get anything other than gnome actually. Ah, uh, he's in good health, he's equipment, he's not got anything, and these are his skills. Um, not a bad blacksmith, look at that, 13. I think getting to anything over like 10 or something is pretty good, but he is not too shabby with the sword. Look at that, 17. Um, profession. He is currently a builder, which is just construction and hauling. That's all he does. We'll keep a, him in mind, because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to assign them all their uh, initial roles. We're going to set up what they're initially going to do, and then we're going to go ahead and press play. Now, we're already 15 minutes into this video, so we probably won't actually get to... We're, this episode's pretty much just to set it up and say, hey, everybody, I've got no more out, and it'll be a let's play on my channel now. So, anyway, let's get back to what we were doing, which was looking at the guys we've got. Um, Azul... Blah, blah, blah. By the way, if anybody wants to change any of these names around, <laughs> we can name them after you, if you like. I can, I'm quite happy to name them after you, and you can be a gnome in my world. Um, or if you have a clean name that you would like to put forward for a gnome, I'm quite uh, happy to change that as well. Anyway, let's have a look at this guy. Oh, my apologies, madam. <laughs> <laughs> it's a female, and what a name she has. Let's have a look here. Equipment, she's got nothing, of course. Skills, let's have a look at her skills. She's not bad with the crossbow, look at that. Uh, fitness, nimbleness. Uh, charm, oh, she's charming. How do you like that? Mining, gem cutting, she's a good gem cutter. Blacksmith thing's pretty good. Wood carving, wood cutting. There you go. Um, hang on. Let's go back to population there. There must be an easy way to do that. I'm probably doing it wrong. Oh, here we go. Hauling. Ah, these are other skills. Here we go. So, his construction 24 is his best. Construction 28 and hauling 24 is his best skills. Well, she's a builder as well. She's got high hauling and construction as well. She's a better hauler, actually. Then we've got Zen Walba. Hauling's good. Who's He's a farmer. Farming 26. I'm guessing this is giving me their top five skills, are you? Maybe. Let's just check that out. Skills. Yeah, but look, it gives me it gives me their top five. Yeah, okay. Doesn't give me any of their combat skills though. I can go back and check that out later. Ability, attributes, fitness, nimbleness, curiosity, focus, and charm. They all seem to be about the same average. So I guess we'll go. We'll have a look and try and. Make sure that they're in a spot that's good for them. This person's good at brewing. Like, this person makes a good farmer. Her farming is in the top five of her skills. This person is a horticulturer. Okay. So maybe he is in the right place. Horticulturer. He's the farmer. 
Daisty. Masonry. Hauling. Mining. Mining is in the top one. That's good. This one's another miner. Also in the top five. Good. Medic. Hmm. Bearer. Animal husbandry. Oh, and there she is. Rancher. Very good. Leatherworking. Cooking. Butchery. Hauling. Are you actually showing me the, the skills they should have as this class? Animal husband. Or are you showing me what they should have? Their main skills for that, anyway. Wood carving 28. Woodcutter, woodcutter. Okay, it looks like they have given me people that have the topmost in what their profession is. That makes things a lot easier. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a... I'm going to put my... Hmm... No, I'm not. Oh, no, I want to. I was going to say that I want to put my builders and... I want my starter military now, because I can... To train... You only need a, um, a wood carver person thing, um, or a carpenter, I think it is, and to make the wooden dummies. Um, not the crude workshop. Carpenter. I'm pretty sure it's carpenter. Pretty sure carpenter makes the, um, the combat dummies. And he's pretty quick to build. Um, we should, and because we've got the stone so close, we should have that pretty damn quick. Uh, what am I doing? I'm not using the right... There we go. Oh no, I was using the right keys. It's just being slow. Just being a slug. Um, I think we'll get rid of this too. We don't really need it. Now, you can't mine or clear when this thing's in the way. So we're going to have to get rid of all these trees here. These trees here. Harvest all this here if we're going to remove this totally, which we are. Um, and probably we want to... Where's those apple trees? I want to harvest and strip those. I want all of these apple trees. Um... So I, I guess I'm quite happy with the way people are actually set up. What I do want to do though is start military, because by having military you can assign them uniforms, which makes them wear armour. So we start from this end, funnily enough, uh, and we want to say new, uh, and we'll just call it Mr. Basic. Mr. Mr. Basic. Now, you're going to have any, 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 oh wait, we don't want that, we want helmet, breastplate, Cauldron, Greaves. So you know what? I'm just going to go with any. Oh. Yeah, let's just go with any. Any. Because I think we've got one at the moment. I think that that's alright. Right hand is where the gnomes keep their working weapon, so if a builder needs something, I'm not sure if they do or not, we'll find out. But if they do, that'll be where it is. Left hand can be anything, so... Uh, we'll leave it at that. Does it have any... weapon? Weapon, weapon, weapon? No. No. Okay, so we'll just leave it at any. Feet. Boots. And we'll just change all this. So... That's a hard... No, I'm just going to do it to any. 
and he's fine. He'll choose the best stuff, which, which is good. They do actually choose what's best for them. Any at least average la -di -da -di -da. Okay, so you can choose what. So if you want like your elite squad, uh, that you could actually specify that they only pick up the best of the best legendary stuff of legendariness only will be picked up. <coughs> anyway, keep going. Position basic soldier. That'll do. Uh, perk. Uh, we want. Uh, aim for the eyes, knock them down, disarm, marksman, guard, scout, where Highlander frenzy, none. Let's go for disarm. You can always change that. Uniform. Mr. Basic. And we will have pursue lost targets, uh, retreat if bleeding, and assist squad leader. We won't bother with that. Um, warranted this one's not going to do us any good because I don't think we have any band-aids. So, yeah. And perk for this one. We're going to go with best defense. Increase melee weapon damage for each member with a melee weapon. Oh, it's only going to be one guy. Uh, on the move. Oh, that's quite good. Increased movement speed for each vacant position. Increased vision range. Shield wall. Increased ranged weapon damage. Da -de -da -de -da. You know what? I'm going to go for on the move. That's actually quite good. There's not enough gnomes in the squad yet to give them the best defense because that gives them extra um, damage per member in the unit. Leader, basic soldier. Yeah. Uh, basic, basic, Mr. Basic, 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 basic soldier, basic soldier. Yep. Perform attack orders. Defend gnomes is important, and we don't want to avoid enemies because that would defeat the purpose. And we are going to put um oh name. Looted rogues, ghoulish ones, the bone chills, silty heroes, the wrathful gristles, knighted fogs. Oh, if that was frogs, that would be perfect. The stupidity hagglers. <laughs> uh, no. uh, lazy tarnishers. No. The shield freezers of ugliness. No. Sweaty blisterers. Elder murderers, the clubbing portals of breed, the stunted silences. <coughs> ah, he's not a marksman unit. Conquered murderers, no, the devoured clutter, the hill, f the willful dryer of fall, white dead, the silent roughnesses, buckled snugglers. Hmm. Hmm. I quite like that. Um, for some reason, why you know let me put anybody in? Flamers. Let's go with that. Froggy Flame is done. Come on. Can I copy? Let's try. Oops. I can. Okay, cool. Um. Ah, here we go. 
basic formation and we're going with the uh, froggy flamers and we want uh, where is he? wrist his sword was pretty good I'm pretty sure and he's probably got the I'm pretty sure he is the best so let's have a look we'll just make sure sword 8 Sword 12, Sword 12, Sword 9, Sword 13, Sword 7, Sword 11, Sword 17, yeah, that's... Sword 11. And nobody's gonna beat that. We've got some brawlers, but that's... He's pretty damn good, so we're gonna go with that. Thank you. There we go. Foggy Flamers Idol. There we go. Done. Uh, okay. And I think we're good. Okay. So he's now in our military. And let's just check our items, weapons, usually, last time I played it was a sword, yeah we've got one sword, none of this stuff, so this is really, yeah, one sword, copper sword, um, uh, armor, armor, oh, here we go, and we've got a helmet and a breastplate for him, so that's cool. Okay, so we can close that, and our kingdom worth is 1,641. Now, monsters start coming in at about... One moment. Okay, we're back. Um, like I was saying, monsters don't come, I don't think, or they don't start getting nasty like goblins and armoured goblins and ogres and two-headed ogres and all that sort of stuff until over 30,000 worth so you can actually you can actually monitor your worth and keep things in raw form sell off to merchants to keep your worth low until you're ready to actually start taking on this stuff like maybe get some more gnomes make sure you've got the gnomes there they're training all this sort of stuff because you can actually train your gnomes without having all the armor and everything else and they can sit there biting and kicking the dummies that sort of thing get them tough and strong and all the rest of it but anyway i think we're pretty much done here we're all set up uh that's our current worth we've got nothing going on anywhere else it's all just like that but we now have we now know what we've got anyway and I can't believe I spent about 30 minutes just doing that but it's good I'm getting used to this game um, and all, of course if you got if you are watching this and you know um, stuff about this game or hints and tips that you can give me by all means because like I said this is like I've maybe played this game for about an hour or so at best so and the last one was just to muck around to make sure I got the keys right um, and sort of had the basic understanding but I'm going to leave it here and in the next episode we're going to get them started on their new world they're gonna start building their um, their kingdom right here and we're going to do it ain't so bad actually and it'll probably be actually be a lot easier to deal with than here this is actually pretty pesky I think now that I look at it whereas we can level this down pretty damn quick hmm decisions decisions and if we level this as well Anyway, I'm going to have a think about it that, and when I see you in the next episode, I would have made a decision. Alright, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time. 
Likes and comments are appreciated, of course. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so. And um, also subscribe to my Twitter so you never miss a video from me again. Alright, thanks everybody. Bye. Cheerio. See ya.